State's Rebecca Fath has been at the protest all day. Rebecca, what's happening now there? Well, John, as you can hear, we got more music. They just had a pizza delivery here. All of them telling me we're not going anywhere until several local leaders resign, including Mayor Lovely Warren. Now, protesters started this morning at the Public Safety Building calling for the man Mayor Lovely Warren appointed interim police chief, Mark Simmons, to be removed from his position. Now, they're citing an incident back in 2005 where records show Simmons shot a 13-year-old girl who he says charged him and her sister with a knife. But the chief at the time, Dr. Cedric Alexander, spoke with us today saying current Chief Simmons made the right call at that time or the teen would have hurt her family. Now we're going to hear from the former Rochester police chief in a moment, but back to this protest. Now after leaving the public safety building, the group marched to City Hall where they are now demanding officers involved in the Daniel Food incident be fired. Protesters also lined the buildings with posters showing pictures of several local officials with the word resign written across their faces, including police chief union president Mike Mazio, of course, Mayor Lovely Warren, as we mentioned, and also, as we mentioned, the current chief, Mark Simmons, who is facing questions now from protesters regarding that 2005 shooting. It was meant to help call somebody called, you know, a child out of control or whatever. And he shot her, took out a gun and shot her, you know. So it's just an example of the tactics and uh, the type of mentality that, you know, police have in these days. I was chief of police during the time that uh, Chief Simmons was uh, uh, involved in that shooting. Officer Simmons at that time, Chief Simmons today, uh, took all precautionary actions and even took a part to retreat, but the threat continued. And John, now to reiterate, as we've mentioned before, the Attorney General is actively investigating the case of Daniel Prude. And to bring it back here now, the music still going, been going since this morning, and the people we speak with say they may not be actually camping here overnight in tents, but they say they're going to go home and they're going to come right back until all of these demands are met. For now, we are live downtown. Rebecca Fath, News 8. All right, Rebecca.